Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Builds Back to Life. Today on the channel, we're going to be checking out this Texas Instruments graphing calculator. I got this for 50 cents at a garage sale, as you can see on the sticker there. It is a TI-83 Plus, and pretty much any graphing calculator you find today is going to be worth some value. Most graphing calculators are going on eBay for about $50 or so that are in this TI-83 uh, region of model numbers. After we open the battery cover, you can see there's a lot of corrosion there, and so we're going to be taking care of that today. As you can see, it doesn't turn on there when you push the on button. So first, what we need to do is get these crappy batteries out of here. To do that, we're just going to take a paper towel, set that right there. We're going to get a flathead screwdriver and deposit these batteries on there. This is a pretty common problem with any electronic that you leave for a long period of time. I'm gonna take that, gracefully set it right there. But it's no big deal because usually, as long as you get it taken care of within a decade or so, I would say, you can actually save the battery posts and all the contacts and everything. Get the fourth one pulled out here, which is definitely the worst. This one might take a little bit of maneuvering. So as you can see, the fourth one was the worst. It's got a lot of corrosion down in there but it's no big deal. We will take care of that with a little thing I like to call white vinegar, baby. There we go. So we're just gonna take a Q-tip and get some vinegar on it. And it's pretty crazy what uh, vinegar can do. All right, so we got our vinegar on here. Take the Q-tip. Whenever that vinegar hits the corrosion, it starts fizzing. Maybe you can see a little bit of fizzing too. Really works well and uh, cleans up the corrosion. So this is a nice thing to do if you need to use your graphic calculator. Maybe you have a younger sibling that needs to use one for a class that you had a long time ago. Had some battery corrosion in it. Pretty simple, just get some Q-tips, uh, find some white vinegar. A lot of households have white vinegar laying around. All this corrosion here, you know, more fizzing. Now sometimes with other electronics, if you have battery corrosion on there for a long time, it'll kind of rust out the contacts. Now that poses a problem. Whenever you've got a rusted out contact like that, it really decreases the effectiveness of the contact. But here in this case, nice and shiny still, so it should work completely fine after we get all this corrosion fizzed up and taken care of. Most of the corrosion, as you can see, is pretty much taken care of. Now I'm going to open up this other battery compartment, make sure there's no corrosion in there. Honestly, if you keep these batteries all changed and everything, shouldn't be necessary to have this anyway. All right, so let's get some new batteries in here and test and see if this works or not. Aha! Perfect. We'll go ahead and peel this label off. And we'll put the battery cover back on to here. There you have it, guys. That's how to clean up battery corrosion on your Texas Instruments graphing calculator no matter what one you have. I'm gonna get this posted on eBay, see what it sells for. Hope this helps someone. All right, I'll see you in the next video.